Well, it, it wasn't so clear cut with me. Uh, my parents had a restaurant when I was a little kid, and so they always tell the story about uh, my first memories were uh, of, of me in the restaurant. They had an old fashioned workbench, and underneath it, it had shelves, and then I would reach up and eat the raw garlic and the raw onions. Um, and so they would say that they should have known then. Um, for me, it was a little bit more complex. You know, I, I always worked in restaurants. Uh, next year, it'll be almost 20 years in restaurants at some level or another. And it just naturally progressed and progressed. And as I got further along, I was lucky I had a chef I was working for uh, who was a real chef that had kind of shouldn't have been at the restaurant that he was at. And one of the things that he said to me is, you know, you should do more. And if you're going to do more, then do it right. And so I went to the Culinary Institute of America uh, in Hyde Park. And at that point, it started to become much more serious. Um, and I started to work at nicer restaurants. And what you do in the kitchen is you um, it's almost like an apprenticeship. You travel around. And so I worked in New York and San Francisco and Napa and Phoenix and would work for all these different great chefs. And each stop along the way, you kind of learn a little bit more and get a little bit better. And that's how you progress. And so at the beginning, you know, many years ago when I was uh, uh, as a prep cook and a dishwasher and a busboy, um, I had no illusions of grandeur. I just was, that's what I did because that's what you do, you work. Um, and then slowly over time, it's become uh, my career. I, I joke about it as it's, it's in your blood. It's like a disease. You can't help it. You know, you just start, you start in restaurants and there's energy and there's always something new and something to fix and something to create. Um, and, you know, every day is an opportunity and, 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 and a lot of jobs are jobs and restaurants are, are a lot of different things kind of rolled into one and it's exciting. I did. You know, I, I've been very lucky that I've worked with chefs who are incredibly talented. And food as art is something that is 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 really different than any other uh, art form because, well, first of all, you you eat it and it goes away, you know, immediately, and then you have to recreate it again and again and again, over and over. Um, the closest that I've heard uh, described is, is one of my one of my uh, good friends, Davi Garza musician. Um, he compared uh, touring in music with with food because it is. Yes, the, the song is created in a studio and it's beautiful on the album and, and all those things and but just like food it's created on the plate the one time and you build it and you taste it and everything's perfect and then you have to go out into the world and you have to do it every Friday and Saturday night over and over again and it changes it a little bit. Um, and so in terms of the food as art, it is. Uh, I liken it more to music or to even um, architecture. You know, you're, you're building structure. You create layers of flavor and you create depth and you create balance. And then ultimately you have a, a finished product that is beautiful and it tastes great. And even if you don't necessarily know why all those things have built uh, into that final thing um, or even taste them all, that's how it, it, it ends up. And so for, for what we do and what I do is I try to create those, the, the base things. You do everything important and you do everything, you treat everything right and you use great ingredients. Um, and as you keep layering all those things up and you keep building and you keep building, and at the end of the day you, you, you have a plate that's, that's hopefully perfect. And then you have to figure out how to do it every plate over and over again along with all the other 70 plates. Night in, night out. And, and, and you don't even do it anymore, which is kind of the... The, the oddest thing is when you're young, you cook every plate uh, when you're young in your career. And then as you get older and older, you, know, you do it less and less and less. It's kind of the, the opposite of what you would think. Um, it's like people always ask when they're eating in the restaurant, you know, oh, did you make this? Well, yes and no. <laughs> I didn't always actually cook your food, um, but I definitely had a hand in all parts of it, even if it was as simple as yelling at the guy to do it faster and better, you know, so. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot of things, and that's what makes uh, food so unique. Um, whether it's me on the phone dealing with purveyors, uh, dealing with farmers and ranchers and, and oyster farmers, and I deal with a, you know, I'll deal with a small farmer of literally what, when he's gonna go to slaughter with an animal, how big I want the animal. You know, then I'm on the phone dealing with Southwest Airlines talking about when things are gonna get shipped, and then delivery service, and then, uh, you know, it's, so it's funny, you know, it starts off 
very romantic and as a young cook and you're just cooking and you're like a pirate and it's beautiful and it's fun and then you know all of a sudden it's a few years later and all these parts of business and the economy and service and everything else and so uh, it's really unique it's 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 both pure because you literally create something that somebody enjoys instantly um, and then at the same time you can spend six months just trying to work on getting to that one point and then you have to do it again and again and again. I, um, I did. I was very fortunate to work for a lot of different people. Uh, for instance, the one chef that really pushed me to do more. Um, but I had a mentor, uh, by the, a chef by the name of Robert Curry. And I was with him for uh, 18 months, almost two years. And it was just unbelievable, both the, the interest that he showed in my young career and in me. And, and what he taught me about how to be a person and how to think and how to operate and, and, and all those things. And I still take that with me. Um, the way I think about food is really a, a, a little bit of everywhere that I've been, which is why you try to work everywhere. Um, and you know, it's been a, it's, it's been a unique um, experience. I take a little bit from everywhere. I think that you obviously have to have a palate. You have to be able to taste, um, you know, sweet, sour, salty, all these different things to create balance, um, which is what, what I try to do with food is create, you know, it, it kind of bounces everywhere when you're eating it, but ultimately it comes together as a balanced whole, you know. And then from there, what you have to be able to do is you have to be disciplined with what you do uh, because you have to do it. Once again, you have to repeat it over and over and over, and so you have to be organized in, in how you think about it. Because if you, you can create something for, for one guest, and if it doesn't deliver for the next, then you, you failed. Um, and so it's important to have a, have, a, have a palate and to be able to taste things, and, and you'll learn that through experience. Um, and it's important to be able to do things consistently, because otherwise you, know, you won't be successful no matter how creative you are. And then, uh, while creativity is really important, um, it's more important to have good ingredients and good tools. And uh, you know, my my staff and me, all of us, we sharpen our knives consistently, so everything's really sharp. Uh, we work really clean, so the, the the kitchen's clean and everything's organized. And then we work with we try to work with great ingredients, so that the ingredients become as much a part of what we do as what we do. Um, you know, we take the time to make our own bread, make our own pasta, make our own ice cream, and so by doing all these things, we don't, we aren't, excuse me, we aren't only controlling it. Uh, we have the opportunity to make it better than, than than what we can get otherwise. And so by by using good ingredients and then using our tools the way that we're supposed to, um, and then having a palate and a discipline to to do it over and over again, you have the opportunity to create something that's really special. Ironically enough, I'm really, I'm really a simple uh, guy. It's kind of funny. Um, I, I, I wear the same clothes, the same shoes, the same jeans, the same underwear that I've. Been. I don't change things. I get, you know, obviously it gets bought new, but I mean, um, you know, I don't deviate from from those things. I kind of find what makes me happy, and then I stick with them, which has its own positives and negatives sometimes. Um, but on our menu, we have a fried egg sandwich, and I probably eat them three or four times a week, and the way that it's come from is in kitchens you're always working all the time so you want to eat really quickly and so I've always eaten them and I still do to this day and it's just you know grilled bread two eggs cheese bacon and it's perfect it is absolutely perfect and um, I, it's it's great you know maybe I'd have a better check average if I didn't sell fried egg sandwiches but you know what they're good so same thing <laughs> No, it's, um, I eat all over the place. I'm, I'm real simple. Um, at home, I generally don't cook very much. That's kind of the, the big myth. I guess some people do, but me, after doing it all day, all week long, uh, I'm ready for a break. Uh, the food scene in Austin's good, and it's definitely growing. Um, there's lots of, of restaurants, kind of on the medium, the high end, and a lot of chefs that are, that are pushing the boundaries with restraint. And it's definitely seen a growth, and, and nationally we've gotten a lot more respect than was in the past about what's here. 
and I think that'll only continue to grow. Austin's a, a wonderful city. My family's been here since the 40s, and um, yeah, it's a good life here.